Welcome to a little special edition of the Racing Nuggets podcast. Wanted to do a little recap of this weekend's Rattler. Uh, we got Ricky Brooks joining us once again on the show. Joining me and Dan Plan. Hi, Dan, by the way. <laughs> so, Ricky, what a, what a good show. It seemed to go really well. Yeah, the Rattler, um, it's a good event. Uh, like I said earlier, we set our expectations high for the event, and uh, we had a goal when we left there. Everybody left smiling and saying they enjoyed herself. And so far, I haven't seen any negative comments coming off the radar whatsoever. Uh, so with that, we 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 met our goal, and we had an awesome event. Other than just one day of weather. And we lost a local show, but we adjusted the schedule real quick, and we got all the late model practice in and all that. So um, it, I don't know how it could have been any better. Well, I just have to say, from a personal standpoint, because obviously I'm married to Toby, and he was down there with Ty, the drama surrounding Ty Majeski getting there for qualifying at the last minute, missing his spot in line, and then having to, to go with the slowest time that he had. Um, that was pretty amazing how that all panned out from a personal standpoint, but yeah, even beyond a, that, from a series standpoint, it was, it was pretty, a pretty good deal. Yeah, it really was to him for him to get there from the truck race and all that. That was awesome. But even the race itself, I think one of the things that really stood out to me that were great, and again, personal level, again, it was great to see Justin Mondike from Wisconsin lead so much of the early on of the race. You had Augie Grill running up front there too, making a bid at, for a good portion of that race. And then you had what are arguably two, three of the best super late model racers in the country battling it out at the front you know Ty Majeski, Bubba Pollard and Jeremy Doss wow that was amazing yeah the the I contribute a lot of a lot of the the good racing to the tire um everybody bragged on the tire all weekend and I think we hooked the wrecker up to two cars in both races so that that was a win-win um but the racing couldn't have been any better, in my opinion. We we worked to get the yellows as short as possible, got back racing, and let them settle it on the track. And that's exactly what they did. I, I would agree too. I mean, from a I'm I'm more of a race fan than than a journalist or an editor. <laughs> that that's what I am first and foremost. And um you couldn't you couldn't have scripted that race, right? I mean, it it just worked out where the the leaders, you know, they get into lap traffic and had to work their way around them. And then Jeremy Doss and, and Mondike battling earlier in the race. And then to have it finished the way it did with Bubba just having a little bit more and, and getting around them at the end. I mean, you, you couldn't have asked for a better race. No, you couldn't have, like you said, you couldn't have wrote the script any better. I mean, including Saturday night's race, it was, it was just as good, you know? Ricky, did did we see you actually doing some cleanup on a wreck? Yeah, when I'm in the pits, it it doesn't matter uh, what's going on. I'm, I'm going to have my hands in it. I'm hands on. So um, it's like when Hunter Robbins Rob, uh, Robbins motor blew. You know, nothing against the safety workers at all because they just don't think about it. You know, but they were fixing to push the car all the way across the track and have oil everywhere. And I said, no, we're going to back this one out of here. And we're just going to clean it up enough because it's out of the racing groove. We're going to get it cleaned up and let's go. And um, once I said that to them, they, they were, it clicked. So they, they jumped in and we got it cleaned up and got back going. You know, it's no different than the car out there in the trees. They're good. Yeah. They're good cleanup people. They're good record drivers, but they, they they don't think from it from a race car standpoint. Let's not tear more up. So um, that that's that's just me, and I'm always going to be that way. I'm hands on, no matter what it is. And some people like it, some people don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have the bar set pretty high. I realize this wasn't the first race for the series. 
but this is a pretty high bar. I mean, how do you top this weekend? Uh, it, it's not that we we have to top it. it. It's we want all of our events to go as well as Rattler did. That that's the goal is is have people leave there without a negative attitude and let's go to the next one. You know. All right. What is the next one? Let's talk about that real quick. Next one is uh, in April 1st at Mobile. All right. And I'm sure if uh, they want to, folks want to follow your Facebook page or Twitter account, they can keep updates there about who's registered and whatnot. Yes, we, we've we opened a registration for that event. Uh, I've already got where actually it's going to be uh, the SRL National and the sport SRL Sportsman Division there. Uh, I opened up the Sportsman about two weeks ago because I always do it about a month out. I've already got 25 pre-entered for that event. So I'm I'm going to be pushing 30 cars for sportsmen. Uh, and that's, you know, that's people coming from central Florida wow. to race at Mobile. That's, that's an eight hour drive for 90% of the people. So I'm excited for that to take that part of the series up there. And then if Last year, we had 17 cars at Mobile because of what had happened there in the past. My, my goal is mid-20s at Mobile for the Supers, you know, second year back, because I haven't raced there until last year for about five years. Nice. Well, good. Any other final thoughts that you want to share on the weekend or looking ahead? Uh, just hopefully, hopefully we can keep the the good morale up and and keep moving forward awesome and again what's the website if folks want to go and learn more about the series it's srl southwest tour.com and then facebook is srl national gotcha all right well good job man that was a great weekend of racing and we appreciate you taking a little bit of time to do a little midweek breakdown afterwards thanks so much thank y'all for having us <laughs>